Hey guys, it's Premier 91 and I'm talking about The Last of Us Part 2. Why? Because to play Last of Us Part 2, you'll need at least 100 gigabytes of free space. That's at least, so it may be more. So for those of you without external hard drives, you guys gotta be deleting some stuff, I'm pretty sure. Like, especially those of you who own, like, even Call of Duty Warzone and whatnot. I doubt those games will be able to coexist on the console. Because at least 100 gigabytes, it's just a lot for a game. Yes, I know that Last of Us does technically have multiplayer, at least the first one did. I'm not sure about the second one, but I doubt most of that is multiplayer. I'm pretty sure most of that is to the massive single-player world that we're probably going to see. That's a lot for a game that is predominantly single-player because you expect that with the bigger games like Call of Duty because those are predominantly multiplayer, but this one is mostly going to be single-player, but perhaps that's just how big and vast the single-player story is, and that's a good thing. If you have to have that much space for a mostly single-player game, perhaps that just tells you how much content they put into the single player so this is good news it's also bad news obviously for those of you without external hard drives attached to your systems and who may just have full space already you're gonna have to look for something to but i'm sure you guys will be able to find something to delete at least while you play the single player maybe you guys aren't even interested in multiplayer and just want to play through the last of us part two single player and maybe right after you're done with that single player story you may be deleting the game i don't know but Tell me how, what you guys think about The Last of Us requiring at least 100 gigabytes of hard drive space. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.